stood strong behind me in this beautiful Salford community is one of 3UK's gigabit 5G poles of Wanda. This site is one of 3's brand new flagship Ericsson configurations with all of their bands including 700 megahertz. On the top of the mast is the Ericsson active antenna unit for the C-band 5G and then below that is the Comsco passive antenna which carries all of the 4G bands 700, 800, 1400, 1800 and 2100 MHz. At the base of this site there are four cabinets which house all the necessary components to run the site. This is the wraparound cabinet named because it wraps around the pole doesn't contain all that much in this case, mainly just jumper feeders between the antennas on the pole and the radio cabinet, which we'll talk about next. Then there's this, which is the Ericsson baseband cabinet. It contains the basebands which interface between the radios and the site backhaul and do a lot of the thinking on the site. And then this really big cabinet is what's known as a bowler. This contains 12 radios. <laughs> which feed all of the 4G capabilities at the site. So at the top here there will be three ERS 480s which are dual band 1800 and 2100 megahertz 44R radios for the 44R L18 and L21. Then at the base here will be three ERS 2460s which are triple band capable for 700, 800, 900 megahertz but only used for 800, 800 and 700 megahertz on this site including 700 megahertz 4G which this site broadcasts and then over on this size there are six ERS uh, 2012 radios which are for the 1400 megahertz the reason for six is because each are 2T, so for three sectors of 40, you need six. Um, and then finally, we have the Link AC cabinet, which will contain the backhaul and also the mains distribution supply. So how does it perform and when is your community likely to get one? Well, like all of the phase eights I've been to, the 5G performance is well into the gigabit range with over a thousand megabits per second being quite easily possible. 4G wise is also very performant although curiously with the 700 megahertz on these you can't use the 700 megahertz aggregated with other 4G carriers without the NR bearer being there. In addition the 700 megahertz in terms of idle reselection priority is below 3G but above 800 megahertz so again it's it's not the easiest to get on the 700 megahertz in terms of when your community is likely to get one of these i have tracked more than 2003 you know actual 5g street pole planning applications over the past year or so of which about 1700 are entirely three only new location phase 8 street poles like this one However, a continual barrier is how many of them get rejected, with some councils rejecting most, if not all, of the sites like this, which will obviously be a significant hindrance to you getting gigabit 5G off a pole like this, unfortunately. Thanks for watching this video about 3's gigabit poles of wonder, and also a little bit about 700 megahertz. It is important to add that it's very early days in terms of 3 700 megahertz deployment having only very recently got the spectrum license and therefore actually a lot may change over the coming days and weeks but i look forward to seeing you on the next video thanks for watching